Hi there, did you ever wanted to use your old Wiimotes, Nunchucks and Wii U Pro Controllers to play games on your PC? Well, you're lucky if you did, because in this video I'm going to explain you how to do it. First things first, click on the link in the description below, it's gonna take you to this website. Scroll down until you can see Wii New Stuff 3.0.zip. Just click download on that one, I won't though because I already did it. When you download it, it's gonna be a zip file. And when you extract it, it's gonna look like this. It's gonna be a folder called WeNewSoft 3.0. Now when you open that folder, you're gonna see all this stuff in here. Just click on SCP Driver and scpdriver.exe. This is gonna open this window here. Uh, just hit install. I won't though because I already have it. Um, basically what this does is just uh, installing all the Xbox 360 controller drivers like where, where they have to be. Um, you just have to do it once, you don't have to do it every time you start with new soft. Um, it's just, you know, so that you have the Xbox 360 drivers. Uh, this is needed because Wii New Soft just basically lets your PC think that all your Wii equipment, your Nunchuck and your Wii U Pro controller and stuff are just Xbox 360 controllers because the PC, you know, um, when you play PC games, uh, they mostly just support Xbox 360 controllers and that's why it does that. So now you're basically ready to start with new stuff that exe. Uh, once you open it up, you can see we have a couple of options here. First thing is sync. But before you press that, just grab your Wiimote or your Wii U Pro controller and look at the red button on the back. Um, with some Wiimotes, you have to uh, remove the battery door first to get access to this button but because uh, this button is basically just for syncing it up with the Wii or in our case now uh, with our computer. Um, just uh, once you have located it, hit sync and then uh, press the red button and wait for it. Ah, okay. Um, now here you can see it found my Wiimote. Just wait for it. Uh, failed to communicate with controller. It may no longer be connected. Okay. Uh, that was weird. I think that was uh, for another controller of mine. Anyways, as you can see, my Wiimote is now connected. Um, I have uh, a couple of options here. I can rename it. Uh, I can also make it vibrate. But what you really want to do is click on Attach as X Input Device. Now you can uh, choose one of four controller slots. I'll just choose the first one because I don't care. I only have one device on here right now. Um, and now you're basically ready to go. Your PC now thinks that your Wiimote is an Xbox 360 controller. Uh, now you can also click configure to map the Wiimote buttons to the ones on the uh, Xbox 360 controller. Once you're done doing that, just hit apply and it will automatically apply. And yeah, I think that's it for this tutorial. I hope you liked it, hope you learned something. If you did so, it would be pretty nice if you left a like on this video and subscribed. Um, I would very much appreciate that. And uh, yeah, uh, that's it now. Goodbye.